Welcome to our lecture online. With this particular quadratic equation, we're going to end up with an imaginary solution. Now, you would not, of course, know that in advance, but we want to show you what that looks like and notice that with the quadratic formula, it's no problem. If you have a real or imaginary solution, you just go through the process and you find the solution, whatever it may be. But notice that we don't have this in a standard format. We want to move all the terms over to one side, so this becomes x squared plus x plus 30 equal 0. And now we're able to identify a, b, and c in this case. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 30. And once you have those coefficients, a, b, and c, you just simply plug those into the quadratic formula, and we end up with x is equal to minus b, which would be minus 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is 30, all divided by 2 times a. Oh, I wrote a, and of course I should have written a 1, because a is equal to 1. <clears throat> there we go. All right, simplifying that, we get x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times 30, which is 120, all divided by 2. Continuing to simplify that, we have x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of a minus 119 divided by 2. And if I'm not mistaken, 119 is a prime number, so we cannot simplify that any further. So therefore, we get x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 119 times the square root of a negative 1. So what I did was I factored a negative 1. And of course, we have that divided by 2. And of course, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So we have x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 119i, all divided by 2. And those give you the two imaginary solutions for that particular quadratic equation. Not a problem using the quadratic formula. Just have the confidence that whatever it comes out, irrational, rational, real, imaginary, doesn't matter. The quadratic formula can handle any situation, and that is how it's done.